Geralt's long search for Ciri led Geralt to conclude that Uma, the ugliest man alive and the victim of a curse, was the key to finding the young woman. Geralt needed to lift the curse. So he took Uma to the home of the world's greatest specialists on dark spells. To the Witcher's Fortress of Kaer Morin. See everyone's up and at him. Hmm. Take it you had a productive evening? Yes. We talked about Uma. Till late. So I guess you didn't get a chance to see to the beams in the tower. Uh, no. But we'll, uh, get to that, I promise. Right, Lambert? You can give the boys a rap on the knuckles later. Let's get to work. Vesemir, learn anything? While you were out hunting fork tails and playing with a megascope, I examined Uma. Notice one thing. At moments of, what's the term, uh, relaxed consciousness, he behaves differently. While falling asleep, he'd pause awake for an instant. Something different about his movements, his gaze then, but only for a moment. So I induced a trance, hypnotized him essentially. No effect at first, but as he dropped into deep lethargy, I heard something. A sigh or a moan, and it wasn't Uma's voice. All right. I just don't get how that helps us. Then keep silent. Thank you, Vesemir. And I apologize for what I said earlier. Have the boys told you what we plan to do? Yes. Don't like it one bit. But I suppose I have to trust you. Right. So what now? We can begin. We need only brew the potions. Wait. Why couldn't we... Do it earlier? Because the preparatory potions for the trial are strongly reactive. They must be administered immediately after they're brewed. Satisfied? Geralt, make the potions. Here are the formulae. Eskel, take a bottle of spirit. Uh, no. After last night, I... And disinfect the tools. Well, chop chop. You don't know who's trapped in Uma's body. How did you figure the proportions? Performed a series of complex calculations. Extrapolated some data. Ran simulations. Meaning, you guessed. Hmm. ready. Tools, too. Good. Vesemir? Hookweed extract to deaden the pain. I know. Done this before. Eskel. Make the incisions in his veins. Insert the tubes. Geralt, place the potion vials in the feeders. Open the valves. It doesn't matter in which order. The hook we'd work? If it hadn't, the pain would have sent him into shock and killed him. So, everything's going smoothly? No. But it's within known norms. Administer the next potion. I 
had hoped. I'd hoped I would never have to watch this again. Why'd you keep the table then? Geralt, next potion. to do their work. Might take a day. Might take more. You need only wait. True. But I must maintain the stabilizing spell. Uma's body is not nearly as resilient as a young candidate witch's. Without this, he... Yeah! Eskel, I'm sorry. Would you mind? Getting some rags? On it. No. The trial. If that's Siri in there, she could come out of this crippled, wrong in the head, just emotionless. Thought about that? I trust Yen. She knows what she's doing. Don't doubt that. But do we know what she's doing? She tell you how likely this is to work? Gentlemen, the floor's as clean as it'll ever be. And I need to be wiped down as well. Geralt, maybe you ought to... Come now, Eskel. I shan't bite you. Just do it. disintegrating from the inside. Once that's complete, we'll need to reform it, or he'll die. You witches were given mutagens. We will use spells. Hey, Yen, you're dozing off. No, I'm just arresting my eyes. Yeah, it's called sleeping. Then do something to keep me awake. I don't know. Tell me a story. Ever tell you about the time Dandelion bought me a sword? Was that in Kerak? Just after we... Decided to take a break, yeah. My swords had disappeared, doesn't matter how. And Dandelion insisted I had to be armed. Decided he'd buy me a weapon. Came to me beaming. The truest Rolodin steel. Good price, too. So good it felt like I was stealing. <laughs> Naturally, blade shattered first parry I threw. He's awake. It's time. Time to lift the curse. Prepare the phylactery.
Havelock? You know him? Yes. An elf. An elf. A sage. Where is Ciri? Everywhere, and nowhere. Listen, Sage. We didn't lift that curse to play riddles with you. Arwen. Arwen. Shram. In Skellige. Follow it into the mists. Hurry. Hurry. I tried to protect her, but the curse, the hunt, has not found the isle as yet. It is a matter of time. Enough, Geralt. He's not yet free of death's grip. Siri. Hold up. Don't you think you owe us some answers? How do you know this Avalon? What's Siri been doing with him? Yennefer can tell you. Just keep an eye on him. He's not a friend. Perhaps not, but Siri apparently trusted him. We should at least take his words seriously. You heard what he said. Take Siri from that Isle of Mists, and the hunt will pick up her trail immediately. What then? What's your suggestion? Ciri can't flee forever. One day she'll stumble, and she won't get a second chance. Time we the hunted became the hunters. Geralt will find Ciri and bring her here. And the hunt will follow. They'll expect to catch us by surprise, and they'll be sorely disappointed. We plan to fight them. We five? In a crumbling castle? Do we have a choice? Besides delaying the inevitable? Pretty boy could try to round up a few others who know how to swing a sword. Or wield magic. Fine. I'll get Siri and recruit some allies. Bring everyone here. Got a few favors I can call in. Any good-looking women in that batch? Mm-hmm. Exclusively. And you? What do you plan to do? I've Avala to care for. He's certain to die without gentle, gradual magic treatment. There's hope if I help him. Not much, but better than naught. The boys and I'll consider how we should greet our uninvited guests. All right. Time I was on my way. Good luck, Wolf. And give Cirilla our love. Come back quickly, Geralt.
The curse that held Uma proved hard to lift, but Yennefer and the Witchers managed to do it. The ugliest man alive revealed himself to be not man, but elf, and an elven sage at that. Avalach, for this was his name, was the elven mage who had helped Ciri flee the hunt, then hidden her away on the Isle of Mists. Show me what you got. Slower. Why is that, Granda? You're a witcher, right? So.
Time to end this.
curse that held him up proved hard to lift, but Yennefer and the Witchers managed to do it. The ugliest man alive revealed himself to be not man, but elf, and an elven sage at that. Avalach, for this was his name, was the elven mage who had helped Ciri flee the hunt, then hidden her away on the Isle of Mists. Show me what you got. side. Locked. Anybody in there? Damn. Yeah. I'm not gonna hurt you. Open up. Oh, you blew a fucking cover. Who are you? What do you want? I'm Geralt, a witcher. Oh. Go away! Looking for a young woman, ashen hair, scar on her face. Will you let me in? No.
Running short on patience. Wonderful. Means you're about to go the fuck away. Mama Mum's beer, get yourselves together, lads. You there, outside the door. Geralt, that right? Yeah, Geralt. Listen, Geralt, let's cut to the thick of it. We survived a shipwreck recently. Beasts from the depths ate some of my lads, and the rest of us found shelter here. Not too special, that, as dangers litter this isle. But it does go to explain why we're a wee bit distrustful. Got nothing to fear from me, said the fox to the gaggling geese. I've lost too many mates already. I won't risk it. I can't. Open the door, or I'll open it myself. You try. These hinges, this lock, will withstand anything. Of course, you can always come back to the platoon of engineers, a battering rammer of a hacker and locksmith. Why the threats? We've only one cut. We'd be better to help each other than argue. All right. What do you want? I want you to find our mates. Ivo, Berg, and Gaspard. They ventured off, but they're on the Isle mission, and probably lost. Help them. Help me. Please, if anyone can find them, I know you can. This Ivo, where do I look? Edgert insisted he'd explore the caves to the east. Tried to knock it out his head. Literally. Bugger would budge. Gaspard. Where'll I find him? He said it was defeatist. Set and date to be rescued. We had to take action. Or at least, he did. Claimed to have spotted a lantern out to sea. So he said he'd climb the highest peak to look out for ships. Where'd Ferenc go? West. In search of a ship that's said to be out there. Ferenc is there. Uh, handy. Thought I might fix it up. Make you see what they. All right. See if I can't find all three. See ya. I'm content to understand. Friends, come down. Right, I'm coming. You lucky devil, you. You know, I've one regret that. Oh, ah, ah! Dead. Damn.
<laughs> a fetlock in the arse. Hey, wake up. Shoo. Back to bed, nibbles. Wake up. Wh what's happening? Who, who are you? I'm Geralt. Your friends asked me to find you, Ferenc and Ivo. I'm afeard they're dead. Some horror swarmed Ivo saw it with my own eyes. And Ferenc, I heard him. A blood-curdling cry, then the roar of a beast. Let's get back to the hut. I'll protect you along the way. Shame about the lads, really, but what can you do? Come on. But I should warn you, I suffer from narcolepsy, meaning... <gasps> I know what it means. Don't worry, I'll keep you awake. <sighs> Off we go then. Drowsy. Oh. Come on, get up. Oh, nipples, you's a naughty kitty, aren't you? Uh, all right, I'm up. Know much about this isle? Almost nothing. You know, it, it ain't on my map. A common characteristic of enchanted islands. You think it's enchanted? It's the one thing I'm sure of. than me, I'm so sorry. Wake up. All right, right, just a wee bit longer. Get up. So, what is it brought you to this strange place? Looking for someone. Here? Mm -hmm. Just kind of turned out that way. Not too keen on talking about it, are you? Not really. This place seems safe enough. Just be sure and come back. And make it quick, eh? Not that much to see here. Come on. 
missing dwarves. Shame he's dead. Are you your friend? Ah, uh, sure. Let's hear him then. Wake up. Uh, I'm awake. Ha <laughs> ha! Gaspard! Stand back! I'm opening the door! Gaspard! Ha! You seem a bit muddled. Eh, uh, muddled. A bit drowsy, that's all. What of the others? Found one near a monster's den. He was already dead, sadly. Saw another fall from a cliff. Broke his neck. Shit. Raverick told me to have an eye on the snot. Twas his nephew. Thanks for helping. And, uh, sorry I didn't trust you. Oh, everything's gone wrong. What'll we do now? Got a boat. You can leave with me. But I need to find someone first. An ashen-haired lass? Yes. Oh, dreadful sorry. What do you mean? She's cold. Spirits left her. Must have passed shortly before we found her. Let's wait by the boat.
Guess not all of Vesemir's teachings have receded into oblivion. A Witcher can forget to eat, to drink, to breathe even. But a Witcher never, ever forgets to care for his blade. <laughs> ah, yeah, I used to repeat that incessantly. Never tired of doing it either. What creature was it? Huh? Creature? One that gave you the scar over your left eye. It's new. I don't remember it. Souvenir from the Cockatrice of Spala. Another addition to the collection. Nothing special. Yours is healed beautifully, though. Avalach. He prepared some special ointments for me. But that was before the curse gripped him. I wonder where he is now. We lifted the curse. He's at Kaer Morhen, waiting for you. Are you serious? You must be... You'd not jest about something like that. <laughs> A nice thing to wake up to. You trust him? Avalar? He's not let me down to date. Not once. How do you ever start traveling with Avalach? As soon as I had left you and Yen on the Isle of Avalon, I found myself pursued. Eredin and his Red Riders were on my heels. I fled through many worlds, many times. They came very close to catching me once. It was then that Avalach appeared, out of nowhere. He found a portal and took us to a world where Eredin couldn't find us for, oh, perhaps half a year. So why'd you return? I thought the hunt had lost my scent for good. I thought I was safe. Besides, I... I wanted to find you. You and Yennefer. You were looking for us. We were looking for you. Times I thought you were just a step away. Other times, felt like I was going around in circles. I'm not surprised. There were times I fled pell-mell headfirst and forward. So tell me how it happened, step by step. Eredin located us mere moments after we landed on Ard Skellig. Soon after, he and his riders surrounded us. I thought it was over, the end. Turned out Eredin had other plans. He produced the phylactery, uncorked it. A fog enveloped us, and Avalach began gasping for air. That's how Eredin cursed Avalach, triggered his transformation into Uma? Yes. He didn't wish to kill him. Humiliation, that's what he was after. But Avalark refused to succumb without a fight. He cast a spell that wrought havoc in the hunt's ranks. And in a full half of a forest on Ard Skellig. Yet it also gave us time to flee. Avalark opened a portal. I leapt in. He was supposed to follow right behind me, but something went awry. Impaired by the curse, he failed to reach the portal in time. We had agreed that if anything went wrong and we were separated, we would meet at his hideout in Venom. But you failed to meet there? Yes, we failed to. Once through the portal, instead of at Avalark's hideout, I landed right in the middle of Crookback Bog. I barely escaped the crones. And then there was the Baron. You know he took me hunting. I killed a wild boar with my sword. I heard. A coincidence, really. I had no desire to hunt that day, but it felt wrong to refuse. I'd taken nothing remotely resembling a hunting weapon. I simply hadn't intended to hunt. I was wandering through the forest, breathing deep the air. And then I heard a strange sound. Unsettling. Boar attacked you? Mm-hmm. Big as a bison, and lumbering straight at me. And all I had was my sword had to manage. Did just fine, judging by how the Baron's men remember it. Simple soldiers, the whole lot. But we got along splendidly. A shame I had to leave. Flee. But I didn't want to bring the wild hunt down on them. Apart from which, I knew by then the curse was progressing. So instead of looking for Avalach, I decided to find you and Yen. So how do you even meet a man like Horson Jr.? You and Yennefer were nowhere to be found, and I needed someone who could fix the phylactery. No ordinary craftsman would do. 
I needed a mage. One with extraordinary powers. Dandelion took it upon himself to help me. It was as if his honor depended on it. He arranged a meeting with a mage, but it proved a trap set by the Temple Guard. Hmm. Failed to mention that. <laughs> Probably didn't want to worry you. Later, we learned the Guard did that sort of thing regularly. In the hope of nabbing anyone who collaborated with mages. We needed to find another way. That was clear. Then Dandelion said he knew a man who owned a piece of Novigrad, as he put it, could do more than others. He was certain to know someone who could fix the phylactery. Orson Jr. Mm-hmm. I suspected it might not be the best idea, but I was desperate. I had no choice. You suspected right. Orson was not the ideal partner in crime. Dan Simpleton got it in his head that we cheated him and kidnapped Doodoo. Who you promptly freed only to have to flee to Temple Isle. Great idea. We hadn't planned it. Had no time to consider, we just bolted. I didn't even realize the guardsmen were driving me into a trap. Suddenly there I was, and I knew I had to disappear. At once. And that's when you landed back in Skellige. The shore of Hindisfjall. The first pleasant place that came to mind. Hjalmar and I used to swim there. Wait, so... You actually wound up there by accident? I thought you and Avalok had arranged something. No, he simply sensed me use my power. Just as Eredin can sense where I am. Where I travel. In fact, Eredin arrived soon after I did. His ride is in tow. Once again, things happened quickly. Lofoten, the hunt's attack, my flight. And then... Dreams. Just dreams. What did you dream? I've had nothing but nightmares lately. Pretty horrible. Likewise, for the most part. In one, a monster grown from a stillborn child chased you. Ugh. That was horrible. I had a few nice dreams. For example, in one we sat around a fire, drinking good wine, and all around people danced and laughed. I like that one a lot better. Me too. But these dreams, and the others, ended in some tower. No matter what I dream, in the end, I would enter a tower. Recognize it? Know where it might be? I'm not sure. I don't think so. But there was something familiar about it, and something terrifying. The tower was stark and dead, but at the same time I felt I had to enter it. Did you? No. Dreams all ended with me searching for the entrance, and the last time, instead of the tower, I saw your grizzled face. If not for the scar over your eye, I'd have thought I was still dreaming. I was afraid you were dead. Found some dwarves here. Said they'd try to wake you. But you were cold as ice, and you weren't breathing. And yet you came in. Who listens to dwarves these days? Speaking of which, they're probably getting antsy. We should go. Got a boat on the beach. Once we land, we'll head for Kaer Morin. On horseback. Right. Conventional means of travel. They're just better. Though a portal would be quicker. And draw Eredin to us immediately. Rather not risk it. Besides, I hate portals. Damn! Listen, we gotta think of a way to...
Welcome back, child. No point standing around. Come on, time to greet the others. You've not changed a bit. Any of you. All just like I remembered. <laughs> what? Little sis. All here, everyone you asked for help. Avalux resting in the tower, still in pretty bad shape. No reason to do it out here. Come inside. Time short. Wild Hunt will be here soon. Glad to see you, Triss. Thank Yennefer. She's the one who invited me. There'll be time to talk later. We should confer now. <laughs> <laughs> 